Hi, this is Yolani Scott. Uh, my company's name is Align for Profit and uh, we align people for profit. And when we say we align people for profit, we really mean that everyone should profit. And I'm so proud to say that CoachQuest is a program that's considered for the Leadership Excellence um, Forum. And uh, what's unique, uh, I guess, is always the question that I get asked about CoachQuest. And I want to say that um, it's, uh, it's that we build context and we're very, very uh, certain about saying why do uh, or participate in this leadership program. So the context is really for us that every organization is interested in high performance and uh, every organization at least is interested in some sort of a culture. We happen to think it's high commitment and high performance. So we really make sure that we build that context. From a content perspective, we um, operate from the foundation of leadership intimacy. We're, uh, because we know that it's not about the leader, it's about the team. So we really encourage leaders to follow sort of that uh, dynamic of getting to know their team, but really know their team. Not on a superficial level, but really how then can they use that knowledge to really coach and provide um, corrective feedback. Um, we also know that coaching is reliant upon um, very, very good um, uh, communication skills. So we focus on the sort of four apps of communication. And the four apps is, first of all, how do leaders bring up a conversation, whether sensitive or not? How do they actually talk it up and stay in that conversation to really provide good, grounded, specific feedback? And then how do they wrap up the conversation in a way that there are clear commitments and real mutual understanding? And then finally, how do they follow it up? And we actually believe that these four apps are very distinct, different skills that leaders need. So we really make sure that we, we, we follow a process whereby we enskill leaders to really get good at all four apps. And then uh, we, we uh, look at the individual because, you know, coaching and feedback is a skill that can be learned. Uh, but the way we ask questions, the way we direct a performance is very much dependent on our style. And we believe leaders have attraction powers that naturally sort of brings people towards their leadership. And they also have repellent forces. And it's often those repellent forces that get in the way from great leadership. So we do a lot of work around sort of what are those repellent forces and attraction powers and how do we use it, flex, minimize or adapt them for the specific situation. And so that is sort of the content piece, a good Socratic dialogue that we teach, not just when to ask the question, but how to ask the question, what question to ask. And also there's a time to tell and then there's a time to ask. So that's kind of the content that we deliver. And then we look at the uniqueness of really how do you cascade this in an organization because we know flash in the pan, two-day workshops don't really have lasting impact. So we provide a lot of pre-work, getting people really ready for this change and transformation. And then um, post-work, we provide all participants a one-year supply of consistent weekly updates. And then of course we're always available because we get intimate with our participants because our goal is really to make a remarkable change and difference in their lives and we know behaviour change doesn't just happen. And then of course, what are the outcomes? The outcomes are from um, sales figures, 18% increase in um, sales to 40% increase in engagement scores in another organisation uh, to another a leader earning 100% in his leadership index scores. So we are very focused on sort of what are those behavioural impacts. But really what we do know is the individual says it was candid and practical. They can actually walk out of our uh, workshop and actually go and implement it. The second thing that we hear all the time from our participants is that it's transformational. We believe that you are who you are wherever you are. And as a leader, if they can indicate some of those behavioral changes even in their life, at home, with their children, with their wives, with their, their, their spouses and family, then we know that we've actually created that behavior change. And then finally, it's sustainable. Uh, we get this comment all the time that what I learned there, I will never forget. So, so that feels really, really great. Um, and I think true testimony is that um, up to today, um, people will have gone through our training eight to ten years uh, past, but still be in touch with us and reach out to us and share their successes and sometimes their failures too. Thank you.